Hello, everybody, and welcome to University Programs and Alabama Esports 1v1 Rocket League Tournament. Um, this was a decent time in the making. Us here at Alabama Esports are really happy to be working with University Programs on this event. My name is Christopher Pollock, and I am here with Victor. Hello, Victor. Howdy, howdy. So, man, what are we looking forward to for these matches up ahead? Oh, we're looking forward to a lot of games here. We got some 1v1s between a bunch of uh, Rocket League players from the uh, University of Alabama Rocket League team and uh, anyone else who joins in. So I think it's going to be a fun night. We could see some uh, competitive games and hopefully a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. And it, uh, right now we have the brackets on the screen and I'm seeing our first or I don't know which one is going to be first yet, but we have on one side Wonders versus Truthfully Cool and on the other side is Soup Time versus Toby. Um, what are we looking for to see during this Wonders versus Truthfully Cool map? Oh, we're, it's going to be an interesting match because uh, the players that are playing right now are both Rocket League players, so they're pretty experienced. Okay. Um, one, uh, one of them being actually on uh, the main roster for uh, the Varsity team. So he uh, that's Wonders is going to be pretty skillful, but the uh, but Blake has also been on the secondary team. I don't think he's on the main roster this year, but he has played a lot, and I think he's champ. Something champ-ish. I, I don't know if he's GC yet, but he's okay. uh, been grinding a lot of Rocket League, and I've seen him play a lot in uh, other tournaments as well as games that I've casted in the past for the team. So he, he's very skillful, and I think it'd be a good match to see between the two because 1v1s is a much different environment oh, than yeah. what they're used to playing in threes. So what I'm what I'm expecting is that we're going to see a lot, of, a lot more uh, defensive play from Blake because he's more on the side of getting an advantage on the uh, at least on the overhead level from uh, what wonders does which is he's very skilled mechanically and w uh, wonders is going to probably carry a lot of like he's probably going to be more offensive on the side and just naturally if he can get on top of blake then he can do a lot with it especially in 1v1s where the environment's based around how many mistakes you do and oh, yeah. blake will probably make a lot more mistakes so uh, the obviously, uh, obviously, if we were going to make predictions here, um, I think Wonders would be the safe pick. But I want to hear what you think about it because Blake is going to be a, an interesting match against him. Oh yeah. So from my perspective, seeing Blake and Wonders both in our best of the best tournaments that we have every semester, um, Wonders was kind of trying to carry his team as much as he could, and he just wasn't getting out enough the best support. Of the best, by the way, yeah, little shout out, just a little <laughs> shout out. Um, Blake was doing really well in that tournament, and so was Wonders. But from my perspective, uh, Blake just had a better overall team around him. And again, this is one v ones, so I think Wonders will. I think Wonders will, in the end, come out with the victory, just from pure technical standpoint of him having the most experience and him being able to do the most. Oh but yeah, Blake might not as have might not have as much experience as he does. And actually, in that tournament, there was a, the opening round was against the two teams that Wonders and Blake were on. And if you were to like match them up one v ones, like Bl uh, Durs was on the top for at least the uh, for his team, whereas Blake was kind of on the defensive role, but he had a lot of impactful rounds. Um, oh, yeah. No one's gonna unless you had actually seen the game here. I don't think anyone's gonna really understand. I don't even know if it was streamed. I don't think it was right. Um, so that I, first match was. Oh, between. Wonders uh, and Blake, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, then people will uh, probably see, or at least understand if y'all had seen the tournament, that Blake had a lot of impact, at least on the back end, because he wasn't exactly the, he wasn't the um, the offensive player on the team, but a lot of his positioning was well, uh, like well put enough to where he could make openings where, I think it was uh, Meh, I don't know what his actual name is, but Meh was uh, mostly the offense. So he can make openings in a lot of places, demoing, bumping, or even just nice touches to clear ball. So it's going to be, it, it's more of like a mind game, I feel like, if you're going to be on Blake's end, because he can position himself in a way to get on top of Durs. But oh, yeah. Durs has that mechanical skill that he's going to have to work around it. So wh whether or not it's going to be one-sided, I think is based on that, whether or not Blake is up to put in the, the, the mental game behind it. Oh yeah, and Once I know this game starts. we are talking a lot about the Wonders versus Truthfully Cool match, but let's try and transition that over to the Soup Time and Toby match because it looks like that one is actually going to be our first one. Oh, um, okay. And yeah, looks... no, um, that's going to be interesting too, just because uh, it, we're in a similar situation. I don't know a lot about Toby's game style, but.
but uh, Soup Time used to be on the varsity team for Rocket League. And so he has a lot of the skill behind him to do the same stuff that Durs did because he was on the same team. And uh, he's going to be a lot of, be a, a lot more aggressive. Oh, yeah. As we can probably see. And we'll see how kick off. Yeah, as the game starts here. Soup Time going with the quick aerials. He's been like, he's definitely a more stylish player. I haven't seen him be more of the the, the star in these games, uh, at least when he was playing, because now he is uh, main coaching for the whole Rocket League team, so he's the main coach that doesn't play. And a lot of the stuff that I saw uh, that we see from him was more of the stylish play, so we saw him starting that with the full backspin to get the ball back in the net, bring him one up over Toby. So what are your predictions going to be for this match? Do you think Soup Time's going to pull it out, or do you think Toby's going to come? Oh, Car yeah, Soup Time, 100%. <laughs> it's just, I, I don't know a lot about... Oh, no, this is... Uh, I just realized that this is a uh, solution. That's who Toby is. Okay. So that's, that's going to change it up a little bit. I, I want to say I've seen him play a little bit, and from what I've seen, they both have a good mechanical playbook. But I think Carson's just a lot more experienced. He's put thousands of hours into doing the same stuff that we see, that we just saw was uh, aerials and good placement. Movement was just on top of it and bringing out two goals in the first, first my uh, half a minute. From my perspective, it's almost like Soup Time's just kind of playing with him out there. <laughs> like he's just toying with him, going left and right, hitting it against the crossbar, then hitting it back in over him. That's what I was saying. It's just like, it's the placement that's going to be a lot different. And the, the small movement that, like, especially right here, Toby getting on top of top of Carson, it's going to get him into panic a little bit. And this could be a good goal for him, and it whiz. Like I said, it's about those mistakes, and Carson had placed himself in a bad spot. Plus the the dedication with the flip put him out for about two seconds and let the solution go back behind him and take him out. So now it's 2-1. Carson still in the lead but only a minute done in the game there's a lot to go on and a lot to be a lot to see happen in the next four minutes person keeping up the possession is it's another thing that he's going to be pretty good at is knowing he's he has a mechanical skill and he also with his coaching role knows a lot more uh, about his placement so he can know where to make the other team panic especially in threes and in ones right now as you can see doing a lot of fun flipping to try and get him out there but i think that was actually a mistake if solution can get the speed on the ball and he does tying it up in a, a flip reset from carson kind of put him out a little bit so solution could flick it up and give it a little bang back to the back to the other side so now we're at twos does uh the boost factor into 1v1s compared to 3v3s oh 100 percent like the the fact that like even you saw there was like Soup Time had just made like a really good aerial and a flip reset. Just because he wasn't on target immediately, like he was put out for like the end. Uh, he basically lost that just because he was placed in a much different position. But like as compared to right now, he's in the corner. Whereas like Solution has time to like set it up. The fact that you need to have that boost just to get around the other player, if you can get the ball in front, then you pretty much have an open goal. And so that goes into your mistakes, right? Especially yeah. at like a grand champion level. I don't know what rank the solution is at, but solution I know it said season fourteen grand champion in the preload stream. Okay, that's what I was thinking about. So he he knows at least how to get around the ball, and in good scenarios he can keep possession up. And that's what you're seeing there. here. Yeah, a lot of bumping to keep uh, the pressure on. Is what's gonna get your get your enemy to focus a lot more. Arson able to get around there, and if he can win this goal, oh no, he's gonna keep the possession up solution with the ball now bring it back to center and let carson challenge it and put it right next to solution's goal so he's gonna have to go defensive shot on target from suit off the backboard and bump to try and keep possession up he's gonna go back to midfield to keep it they keep the possession in his hands a lot of visuals Oh, a nice challenge Ooh. from Carson to put it in goal. Wow. Yeah, no, that that's my shot. That's the thing with the pressure. He's gonna keep it up, and that's gonna put him in a good spot to get a good flip there. That was really nice by uh, Super Time. <laughs> Nothing with the demo post. Yeah, right. Love tap. <laughs> a good kickoff for Carson's gonna put Solution in a kind of weird position. 
Oh, and he's going to kick it right into the right side goal. Nice goal from Carson. That's now at 4-2 for the score. And uh, two minutes left on the clock. Still enough to happen to keep things up. It, in, like, Supersonic Legend matches, you, it's not uncommon to see, like, 9-6, to 9-7, to seven, like, t uh, like, very large score lines just because, like, the amount of mistakes that you can call out. Not only that, but, like, the, ama uh, the amount of mistakes you make versus how much you can call on your on the uh, the opposing side in this skill level yeah simple things like that a little flip from solution puts them back into the middle of the middle of the arena puts them out of the game for pretty much that round so Carson get a nice goal on that and bring it up to five two it's looking a little less likely for solution to come back you know I just wanted to confirm what I was thinking um Soup Time does have a lot of experience in 1v1s. I know I messaged him back a little bit ago just to get some practice in, and he was telling me that he's GC2 in ones, and that he wins 120 1v1, like 120 person 1v1 tourneys for fun every once in a while. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's like crazy. go to go and do 1v1s. Let's see if so I think from Solution, no, he can't make it. That experience is going to propel him ahead in this tournament and just win it in the end. I think I actually remember Carson actually telling that to me too. It was uh, on the uh, at least on the side whenever we were talking about Rocket League in the past because I also talked to him a lot to do casting for Rocket League. He says that 1v1s is probably his strongest suit for getting good openings and knowing like where you need to be to keep yourself in a position to earn it is really good. And he does it a lot as you can see. Oh, might yeah. actually be a good shot. Not be able to put a lot of momentum into it, but that could have been a shot on goal and another one, but back to solution side. Back in possession of solution. Carson's gonna go back for boost and maybe see some uh, small aerials, but nice placement on top of soup time though, so he's gonna be able to rebound it. Another wall pinch, nice. But a little bumps and oh almost. Maybe he can make it. Oh, not a lot of speed. Oh, he can still make it in. Solution still got the goal on Carson after the wall pinch. It didn't really put it in a good spot, and the, the flip kind of put him out for too long. So, that's gonna be another goal for Solution. 35 seconds left, and three goals down for Solution. Do you know these are best of threes, right? So we're gonna see another match between these guys at least. I believe so, but I'm not 100% sure. confirmation it is best of the reasons <laughs> and uh, at least we can see a little bit more games from these guys because this is a this could have been a really close match if you hadn't seen those few mistakes just in the middle of the game from solution kind of putting the goal, a goal the score line a little bit further away because i want to see a little bit around these guys yeah oh yes he off the crossbar not enough speed and solution with the challenge it's not going to be oh, enough man. to win the game obviously but it's disappointing and carson wins the first map on a, our 1v1 tournament. And Solution's gonna have to put up a little bit more of a fight if he's gonna wanna take it to a third. But I, I think that was a, like, a pretty even match, all things considered. The few like mistakes in the middle were pretty obvious, but Soup Time's in a good position to be up that much. I don't think he could uh, guarantee, like he couldn't have given away three goals that easily. So I'm thinking this can be an, a good second map See what I mean, solution brings to the table. From that scoreboard, we saw 14 shots versus seven shots. Yeah, no, it's it's going to be a lot of, and that just comes from a lot of like his training and knowing where to place the ball and ones. The challenging is definitely going to be stronger. Instead just of for the creating those opportunities is what's going to be key for all of this. Here we go into the second match of the three now. Let's see if Carson can win this soup time to uh, advance himself to the finals. And a good 50 is going to put the ball in solution hands. And even actually got past Carson and maybe opening up for an early goal, but all off the side of the wall. He was moving a little bit too fast. The guy just realized soup time with uh, the battle bus. <laughs> maybe going to style on him a little bit. Oh, but the, the collision box on the, the, the battle bus is going to be a little bit smaller. I don't know if he can do the same... Well, I say that, but he's doing a flip reset right now. <laughs> he oh, got man. it right in. It's more of an air dribble than a flip reset, but we'll see it again right here. See what it actually did. Yeah. 
and the good 50. Got right below him too. It's a good call and Fortnite flip reset. <laughs> Man, the battle bus has, has it has more clunky box and oh nice. That's a good start up from Solution to bring it back to 1-1 right off the kickoff. Just placed it good on the right side. And I think that <laughs> I don't know if that had to do with the battle bus, but Kickoff goals are also going to be one of those things that Solution needs to utilize if he wants to win the series. Him out here with the battle bus is just so funny to me, Oh yeah, it's real. I, I think it's going to be really good to keep his possession in because it's so big. I don't know if he can actually like drop the ball if he's going to be here. Maybe he can do a, a little bit more of an air dribble right in the top right. Top left, sorry. To, it's funny because it's big, but it looks so tiny at the same right, time. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of stubby. It's kind of weird. I haven't I haven't played with it, but from what I've seen, it's just more it's taller. It's a lot taller and it's like the size of like a regular car. Oh, but that puts them in place for good 50s solution. Maybe Oh, Carson off the side of the ball. I'm going to give the possession back to solution, but it's still anyone's game. A little bit of dribbling and placement. Oh, and a nice dribble on top of a flick from Solution. Put it right over Carson as he flips into it. It's a 2-2 now. I, I And I want to say, I mean, the battle bus could be BM, but I think it actually makes it a little bit more equal here. Because as much as the battle bus is fun to see, it's important to know it is kind of hard to play with. And I, I've seen Carson play with in the past, so it's not like he's like, he doesn't know about it. Oh, and another flick from Solution right over Carson. Oh, oh man. man. So like what Aram just said in the chat, Solution isn't going down without a fight. It might just end up coming true. Honestly, yeah. And the, the scoreline's looking good for it too, honestly. Because he's going to have to like hold it up for at least another four minutes. And if the way this is going, if more goals come the way of Solution, He's gonna have be in a good position to go to third map. Air dribble, air dribble on top and bumped by Solution. Good job. Keep that in his hands, but Solution's gonna be on top of this and get to keep possession up right in front of uh, Soup Time. Preston really needed that boost there. He's starting to run really well. Oh yeah, I was about to say. Ran out of boost there on the wall, wasn't able to air dribble it. I was gonna say that could have been a really good goal. Good challenge from Solution. Keeps the ball kind of in a in a no man's land. Soup time on the offense. Oh got challenged by Solution once again. Back in the hands of Soup Time. I wonder how many challenges he's gonna actually make on this. Well, I, I was gonna say any more, but there it looks like that was it because demo aw oh, he's gonna put it back into Carson's hands well I, I was at least optimistic about it good position for a flick and a musty oh man could have been close I want I, I want to see more trick shots honestly I don't, I don't know I think Carson's really the only person who is in in position to do a lot more of the, the, the freestyling but it would look nice Look nice for a 1v1 tournament to see some more. I want to see at least one Fortnite must be flick. That's what, at least what I want. <laughs> oh, it could be a good position. Oh, I missed it. Oh, but it's close. Ah, oh, and the bump is going to put it back in solution. Back to the one hole. And a good bump from solution. It puts it kind of in the middle. Soup time's going to go for this. It's still in the middle. The possession's going to keep up back and forth from the two competitors and a shot on goal from Solution saved by Soup Time and I mean it, it was four minutes what it oh no it was four minutes when they had the same score and now they've just been going back and forth for the last two times going a little bit short here and Solution's still in the lead yeah Soup Time's still down one I think he's really wanting to do, like I said, the... Oh, that's actually going to get past him. Wow. I was going to say that he wants to do more trick shots, but no. He was just waiting for a good moment, and that was a good spot. Solution flicked in right into Soup Time's hands, and he could do something off of that and get it. Get you know, I, on it. I, I think Soup Time there was trying to do a little freestyling, but in the end, he knew that he just needed to score the goal. 
I'm liking this. Arrow needs some time to keep it up and more possession. He's playing really offensive now. I, I think he realizes the time was kind of short. So he needs to be on top of the solution. He wants to do anything. Sue comes in a hard spot for this. He's going to keep it up anyway. I was going to say the challenge could have been hard. Oh, but he, the solution got turned around. So I don't know if he can get recover in time. He does. And actually gets right in front of soup time. So it brings it back. One more goal lead solution. Across the goal, he can move it. Or across the field, sorry. So back at a at a four over three. And soup time's gonna have to focus in a little bit if he wants to end this series short at a 2-0. Okay, <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of misplacement, but he's gonna get back on top of it. Carson putting it on top of Sushin. Oh, and maybe with a good shot Ooh. right off the side. Could have been could have been the equalizer. We'll see more out of this. He keeps the possession up and good placement, but Solutions on top of that, his defense has been so good. Keeping the scoreline pretty even. See a flip reset from Solution, maybe put it in a double. Oh, but he missed the, the momentum was kind of hard. The ball's in the corner now. Soup time at his hands, but Solution can get on top of it and put it right back out into right back into midfield. Solution's still up, so Carson is in a good spot to try and equalize it here. So he's got a few seconds to do something. Solution challenging and can't get it back, and that's going to be the second second uh, game for Solution. Right on top, very close. But the the question I want to ask now that they're one one is whether or not Soup time's going to go back to the octane. I wonder if he's going to see if he can, if that was actually the crutch, because he did pretty, he did good in the first game, whether or not he wants to actually go for it is going to be another one. What do you think? I think he's going to end up switching it up. He wanted to freestyle for that match and see what he could do with the battle bus and see if he could win it, but he knows that he needs to win. I hate to actually post the spoiler, but it looks like he's going to swap because he said no bus in the chat. Oh man. So uh, as much as it was good. Actually, you know what? You want? I want to see. They just added a Ford F-150. I wonder if anyone wants to go for that in the, in the tournament. <laughs> I would love well, to see it. Oh, man. And oh, Soup, those are some there, good, good he's, shots. he still had more shots than Solution did. He just wasn't able oh, yeah. to capitalize on the opportunities like Solution did. Yeah, those middle two minutes were very one-sided. Carson was taking a lot of shots and Solution returning it as well. So it's going to be like... It's going to be that much more in this as well. And that just goes to show you just not just as good as like soup times offenses, but also how good solutions defense. Is. Oh, yeah. I wasn't expecting it to be like that good, but these guys are on top of each other. I'm really liking the series. Both, both players are showing up. Yeah. The octane back on soup time, we put them in a more comfortable location for a competition. Teal green is a good touch as well for the blue and a good flip oh, on the top of it. The solution, like I said, his defense has been really good. Keeping it right above soup time. He might be able to flick it back over and he does. I don't know if that's in goal. No, nah, it's off the side. But he wants to keep his position up and soup time takes his possession away. He has been really offensive. Oh, the save wasn't close enough. Soup time for the first goal in the series, 30 seconds in. I am really liking that kill green like you mentioned earlier though. Yeah, exactly. The hat on top makes it just more perfect. Oh yeah. It's a little leprechaun. <laughs> I bet that I'd like I don't know if the battle bus could be a better leprechaun car. It's more squarish. Oh wow! Soup time just got around solution. That's gonna be a free goal. Wow! Oh my god. I wanna see that in the replay. If Only something he happened here, I was definitely like, it's in a weird spot, but he just broke Solution's ankles. Or just his axles. <laughs> <I'm working. laughs> Got to get more practice in for our uh, our Rocket League matches Tuesdays at uh, 7 p.m. to join us in this uh, Twitch. Maybe next oh, week, yeah. I'll, if we can see more of this. Well, solution on top of Carson. Wow. I mean... Do I even need to say anything? I, that wasn't even, like, I was just, I, I was so excited to talk about casting Rocket League, because this is, like, a really fun game to cast. It is. Yeah. It's a lot of action. 
It's a lot of fun getting to see the, the skill from both these guys put up against each other in the ones. It's a lot different for standard, but you gotta appreciate the, the art of the ones. Ooh. And just off the crossbar. Very close off the top. It puts Cross in a weird spot too, because he has to grab possession back with more of these challenges. I I, I wanna say that like I wasn't it's not that I wasn't expecting the amount of challenges out of suit time, but he definitely likes the possession. And I wanna see if like if he actually wins this. If he's gonna keep that up in the next game. Because this is one of the hardest things if you're a Rocket League player. It's like when you're starting out, you're really taught to be like learning mechanics and keeping your possession up. But the challenges is also something else that like you really can't get against because you can't let your nerves get on top of how you make these decisions. And I think that's kind of where it is right here. Is Super Time making a lot of these hard plays, putting it right into a right into a spot that Solution doesn't want, as we just saw. Right on top of Solution. Suit time getting another flick goal. Right over Solution. I'm just gonna put it at a good spot for him. Comfy at three minutes left in the game. 3 1. If only he could switch to the battle bus mid game. I honestly, I was about to say he could he could drop it. Maybe if he puts it like right now, he could drop it right right into his side and then swap teams. Oh wow, actually went to the demo and got it, but was not really shot on goal time. Very stylish movement, I want to say from suit time. I'm liking the the eye candy. Oh wow, right off the side of the crossbar is gonna put it right in the solution hand. Is that not gonna be in? That's off the crossbar. <laughs> I was about to say, there was a little touch at the end that put it right off the side. That could have been a free goal, bringing it a little bit closer, but nah, still 3-1 and a good bounce. Gonna oh, put it right beside soup time. That's the equal, oh my God, it wasn't. Soup time was turning around just at the right time. I take it back, it, uh, soup time's defense is just as good as his offense, man. We're seeing it right now, right here, right now is the Octane. Now that he's in a comfortable spot. Putting Solution in a weird spot. Nice air dribble to the corner wasn't enough, but Soup Time on top of this. Oh my God, he might actually be able to, no, Soup Time can get back in time. It's crazy, every time we see a shot of the Soup Time, we think he's gonna get stuck there and not be able to get back in time. And he's always right there ready for it. Oh yeah. Partly a, a part of that boost that I'm talking about. He, when he, you move so fast like this, actually speaking of that, he's trying to get a must. He couldn't get it in. Solution off to the side, couldn't uh, defend that shot. But the from soup time moving so fast, he can collect enough boost to keep his movement up like that. And it, he's supersonic most of the game. I don't think there is, there's a place that he can't be. That's why Solution needs to get in front of Carson a lot more. Maybe bring this a little bit closer. I think this is good playing from both the players. It's just hard for Solution to keep the keep the defense up. You can even see in his attempts at the goal is going to be kind of hard. Getting demoed. Not a, not, not that it's going to do much. Solution's going to demo suit time, but he's going to be able to get back in time. So I play a little bit early. And a wall pinch actually puts it in a weird spot for soup time, but he's gonna keep the best of up. One minute left. So what else we're gonna see out of soup time here if he can keep it up. I think he's just gonna burn time here. He knows that he's up. Might as well just keep the ball in his hands and not really worry about the offense, because that, that's all a solution now. That is literally just a walking <laughs> of running around trying to do wall pinches. Gave Solution a goal, but I think it's going to be a little bit too late. 30 seconds, uh, 36 seconds left. It's still possible. I want to see what he wants to do. Let's see if uh, Soup Time wants to do a wall pinch. I know, like, I've been practicing those. I want to see if he can put one right on target. And it is 4-2 Soup Time right now. Do you think there's enough time with 30 seconds left for Solution to try and make a comeback? Oh, definitely. It, especially if it makes this goal right here. No, he doesn't. But... I mean, it depends on what, how much possession Soup Time's gonna have. Oh, I don't think it's gonna be it. Soup Time with a nice shot off to the side, though. If Solution can keep the possession up, this may be possible. 
I'm gonna stay behind that. Can he can get it? Oh no, he can't. Sometimes gonna put it right in the goal. 5-2 now. And uh well, it's not looking very good for solution, but I'm kind of trying to finish this with style to bring him to the finals of the 1v1 tournament. Keep it up all he wants. And there we go. In the flip reset. I'm <laughs> trying to keep it back up into the air but soup time's gonna take it away at 5-2 for the final score man i mean that's that was a really good series i can't lie about it i just I, there was a lot more movement i think from soup time's side and he's a lot more experienced in one so not surprising but it was a good series all around and the battle bus pick was obviously stellar i loved seeing that And we just got word that unfortunately the second match, Wonders versus uh, Truthfully Cool, Truthfully Cool unfortunately hit a DQ, and Wonders will be moving forward to place to play against Soup Time in the final, which is going to be next. Oh, I'm looking forward to this now. This was, I mean, this was the expected matchup, so it's unfortunate that uh, uh, Blake wasn't able to play, but we are going to see the Wonders versus Soup Time matchup that we wanted because this was this wasn't able to happen in our last. Uh, our last uh, club tournament best the best there was a team with both wonders oh there was a team with wonders on it and a team with soup time on it and we wa weren't able to see them go against each other unfortunately but this is going to be a good matchup i feel like because these guys play a lot against each other not just with each other but against each other i've seen lots of games where soup time and wonders can go against each other i've heard they 1v1 too so this is a practice match that is obviously this is going to happen like this has happened before and it's going to happen a lot. So I want to see what kind of what kind of play styles we see out of them because Soup Time, a lot of what we've seen out of him, at least on the on this channel, uh, is that he plays against uh, a lot of the club members who aren't obviously at the, the similar skill level. But Durs is on the he's on the the main roster for Varsity, so he has been practicing. He's been playing these games uh, in their tournaments, and he's been doing really good. So I want to see who's going to have, like, whether or not Dur uh, Wonders is more practiced. I want to see if that is going to play a role into how the, how the scoreline goes down here in this best of five final. Oh, yeah. And we're seeing, you know, Wonders, <laughs> who is on Crimson, and Soup Time, who's technically his coach. I'm wondering how the dynamic is going to work out between the two of them in this match. You think Soup Time just already knows everything that Wonders is going to bring to the table? I want to say that they both are pretty prepared for this because uh, their play styles are not like similar ish, but I want to say that we're going to see something close to what we saw last series. I said that soup time. It's not, I'm not sure whether or not he's going to keep the, the possession up and keep the speed going, but he has like, he's more comfortable in that spot. And I think dirt uh, wonders is not the person just to put him out into the uncomfortable spot. I think he's going to let him do it because if I had to put him like head to head, I think, they're pretty even, but I think Wonders would come on top in terms of mechanical skill. Not, like, from any, like, professional... I don't have the stats to back that up. Just from, like, what I've seen, I think that's more of what you're going to see here. And so, whether or not we're going to see Soup Time be in that comfortable spot is going to be, I think, what determines this match. Because I think if Wonders lets him be where he's taking shots, you know, going for aerials, all that kind of stuff, I think we're going to see Wonders on top. However... I think soup time it's now for him, now time for him to focus up on this because he's going to have to put his head into the game and uh, think about how he's going to get around wonders more. Cause he is, as I was saying earlier, I think he's a little bit more mechanically skilled. And I believe we're going to be jumping into the game now with soup time versus wonders for the UA program and Alabama esports rocket league one V one tournament. In the final best of five to to end the end the day out, and I'm hoping it's going to be a three-two. Honestly, I think this uh, this is going to be a really good series. And right off the kickoff, you can see it. Neither player actually wanting to go for the spot. Oh wow, Durs put a powerful shot right in the goal. Soup time was actually right in front of it, but went a little bit too deep. Wasn't able to block it. And I think that was a really good testament to what I was talking about earlier. Is going to be how this game really goes. Neither player wanted to get the possession first. They wanted to 
keep they wanted to stay in the safest spot as possible right and at this high of a level you're gonna see more of the safe picks time out, right in the corner of the goal wonders can we recover from that at a 1-1 to tie it up soup time out here with the leprechaun once again <laughs> the leprechaun octane is good on top of this i wonder if he's gonna bring the battle bus out for this if he gets up that's gonna be uh, i want to see if that happens or not because it's gonna be definitely a good best of five final if that happens 50s off the start are very strong. I don't know. I, I think these guys are doing fast kickoffs too, so it's very it, like that. Those are really hard to do. So these guys are very close. What I'm gonna do it? Playing it very methodically and a good placement from soup time in the top, keeping the possession up. The first couple balls I was gonna say were a little bit harder to say whether or not he was trying to like think more methodically, but I think that says it's Carson's gonna be put in a spot where he wants to be more comfortable. Back and forth, keeping the possession on both sides. What Carson wants to do here. Taking the flip reset inside of the ball. Air dribble, tosses it up. The Wonders can block it. And he's at, actually in front of Soup Time, and this is going to be an open goal if he can get it in. Wow, yeah. Power's in front. Soup Time right behind him, but once they're both supersonic, you can't go any faster than that. And Wonders can keep the ball in his hands. Put it right in the goal for a, a little lead right now at a, a four minutes left. This is a really good, a really good game so far. I think these guys are very even in match. Wonders just gets the advantage off that and puts it in net once again. Right off kickoff too. Strong start from, from Wonders. Keep the ball up and nice foot placement. I don't think anyone in the the Alabama Esports uh, Rocket League team is SSL yet, but you can you can see the developing skill. These guys are very consistent in how they play with their shots. It's uh, this is the game that's going to be much more about the mistakes than whether or not you're going to be offensive defensive. Oh, landing on the back of Carson's thing there. But Wonders able to get possession back, and then soup time once again. Wow. Keeping the power up is going to determine this. Nice little flick, but a little bit high from Wonders. Can keep Carson on his toes, whether or not he's going to stay on top of this. Carson with a fast aerial trying to get get the position over him, but keep the possession in his hands. Oh, wow. Dunder, oh, Wonders actually committed to that. I don't know if he can beat back in goal in time. Oh, Super Time missed the ball. He still has the possession. Wonders is going to let him take his spot and figure out where he wants to put this. Nice flick from one, uh, from Soup Time. Toss it up, though. It's not going to be able to get in. Wow, yeah. I mean, it, it was going to be tough anyways with that shot. The flick was kind of high. Now Wonders has the ball. We'll see what he wants to do here. Very standard off the backboard. Puts it up right in front of the goal, and Soup Time dedicates, but right on target, right in front of Soup Time. Breaks him out and uh, keeps him up. Wonders putting up a really good fight here. And a 4-1 lead. <laughs> it just goes right over soup right there. That's a, that's the speed, man. As, as long as you have your boost, you can do so much with it. And these guys definitely know how to use it properly. Soup time giving uh, the open kickoff is also another strategy just to keep possession on. And so that's what Carson really wants to do. He just wants to be put in that spot where he is comfortable and having the possession. Having the ball in his hands is probably the most comfortable he can be. Nice shot on goal from soup time right across the wall. Wonders wasn't in the right spot. Kind of caught him off guard. It was actually a nice shot right off the... Was off the side or was it off the roof almost? Oh, it was off the side, yeah. He just put a little, um, put a little flick into it off the side. Gave enough speed to get out of Wonders' reach. Oh, and a, uh, probably an open net from time, but not able to capitalize on it. Wonders get back there. Not so slow of a shot. Wonders committing again. Gonna have to defend a very hard shot. Soup time can take over that for him. You make the decision. You're not gonna defend that. And Soup is still down one here. Yeah, no. He's still down one in the series, and there's still two minutes left. This is gonna be close, no matter what happens. Another kickoff given to Soup Time and a well played shot. 
ties it up here. Soup time was on the, on the target there. I think he realized that he was in a good spot. Wonders didn't have the boost to get back in the spot. He tried to go for the corner, and that put him in a bad spot. So Soup time could get on top of that. I was about to say, we just said Soup was still down one, and now he's back in the lead by one. Very good shot from Soup Time. Put him in, put him in a one point lead. But he's got to keep it up, because I think Wonders realizes that he's going to have to play a little bit more aggressive here if he wants to do, do the same stuff. All the recovery is going to be hard from Wonders. Soup Time's not going to be able to get the possession back. Open spot and a bump from Soup Time and the clear. It's going to be kind of hard for Wonders to defend. Soup Time has that. Which means that he's ready for shot on goal from Wonders. Not a lot of power behind it in the in the defense from Soup Time. It's going to put it in an awkward spot for him to defend. Off the back wall of the goal, committed. And a nice little bump, but Soup Time was able to get back. Wow. And this is close. One minute remaining, and Wonders on the offense trying to clear this up. And Soup Time with a good clear. See if he can get back on goal in time. He's gonna put Wonders in the defense. Good shot, but a really good challenge. But off the corner is gonna be a hard read, and the Soup Time can do it. He has the skill to take it out, and yeah, it's gonna bring him up to another goal. Two ahead of Wonders in 45 seconds left. And those are hard goals off the corner right there. Just knowing exactly where to put your car to read the speed of the ball. Man, the skill that, that you know Carson is showing here is just unmatched. Also not he, unmatched. he has to give us a little bit of respect to Wonders because he's putting up a good fight here. He was able to kind of call out soup time when he didn't have the boost to catch the ball back. This uh, Wonders is going to put another goal in. And now it's only one down, six to five. Like I was saying, the hard, the, the upper ranks of the 1v1s, you're going to get a lot of really high score lines just because they're going to be based on problems that, that each player does. Good clear from Soup Time off the side of the crossbar. Oh, actually, in a weird position, put Soup Time in the air. It was uh, could have been an open goal if he had placed it right. But keeping the possession up, Soup Time realizes that he is in the lead. So he doesn't have to do much except for just keep this ball out of his own goal. Wonders is going to be on top of this just to make sure. Keeping it in the corner is a really good idea for Soup Time. And he can clear the ball. I think that's going to be game. If he can honestly keep it, yeah, it's on goal too. Wow. Putting Soup Time one more goal ahead, and that's going to be pretty much it for the first game. Three seconds left. I don't know if Wonders can bring it back from this. But it is a best of five, so he has plenty of time to, plenty of time to work with. And I think he's going to bring a lot more fight into the next game because he knows what's on the line which is pride pretty much See, these guys are really good at each uh, playing each other in ones i think pl uh, playing each other in in private is going to be one thing but now that you're on the alabama esports twitch i think you have a little bit more on the line <laughs> to to play for now that everyone's watching oh yeah just a little bit so what are you yeah. looking for both players to do in this match to help them win um, I'm going to be honest, I, I, as much as I want, like, you know, soup time to keep his own possession up and really just have the ball to work with and be in his own environment versus wonders, uh, playing defensively, really good clears and keeping off goal. I just want to see the battle bus again. That's just, honestly, if I want to see anything, I want to see someone win with the battle bus. I'm not going to lie. You think Carson's going to bring it out right here? Soup time. I don't think he is. But also, I don't really know. They didn't say anything about it in the chat, so we, I could be surprised. But no, it's going to be the same. Leprechaun. Wait, is that even a hat? No, that's a tea kettle. Wait, is that a tea kettle or a, uh, a cup on the top of? Yeah, Super it's a tea cup. Yeah, no, it's a tea cup. Dang. I thought that was a hat. It would have been perfect. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, that was going to be really tough. 
as the second game starts. Wonders keeping the, the possession up and wow, getting around Carson. Pushing it just around him, left to right, up and top, and soup time couldn't clear it with the top of his car. T Kettle wasn't strong enough. Needs to add more of a ramp to it if he wants to clear it that, that way. Durs can capitalize, putting him at an early lead. 30 seconds into the game. And once again, soup time trying to clear it off kickoff. Didn't have enough power to it. And in a weird spot, it's going to keep it on the side of his goal. Angle read from Wonders puts it high. Carson on the, the, the challenge is going to put it up and get his possession back. Wonders can't beat him to this, but he can at least take the 50, which he didn't get put in the greatest position. But he can keep the position up nonetheless. Two times going to look for a challenge here, probably. Oh, and a really good flick from Wonders. Ooh. Right off the top of the crossbar. It was very close. It would have been a really nice shot to see. Honestly, the battle bus and the demo from Soup Time is going to clear up some time for him to work with this. As much as I love the battle bus, and yeah, he's going to be in his own environment, like I was saying. Soup Time able to do a little flick off the top to bring it back up to a tie. Anyway, but I was, as I was saying, you know, battle bus might not be a possibility since this is a really important game. But... If we can see some some good freestyles out of out of soup time, I'd be very happy. If he goes up two uh, two zero, uh, do you think he'll bring it out? What the battle bus or the freestyles? Yeah, the battle bus. I don't think he's gonna bring out the battle bus. He I, like oh, these these games two maybe like if he went six up in like a minute left, maybe. But other than that, he's not gonna do it because there is a lot of stuff to happen here. And Soup Time needs the stock game if he's going to keep his uh, his lead up, which he does right here. Getting right in front of Durs. Putting the ball right on goal. And a 2-1 and three and a half minutes left. We still have a lot to work with. And mistakes are definitely on the table. Especially this 50. Soup Time losing the 50. Puts it right on the side, but he can keep possession up. So overall, good position. Durs with the bomb. The main position back with a good challenge from Soup Time with the back in the middle. Put up a good power shot, and yeah, right off the corner. Puts it right in the goal. Straight off the center, the start as center challenge from Wonders. It's looking really good so far for Soup Time. Three up, uh, three one up right now. And a two goal difference uh, for Wonders to make up if he wants to bring his uh, bring the series into his hands. challenging and that's going to be a open goal for Durs. Oh no, he's going to give it up right off the corner so he couldn't really work with it much. They tried waiting for scoop time there to try and bump it a little bit over his head. This wasn't the right timing. The wall sometimes going to get possession up to Wonders and this could be big. If he can bounce it right in a double touch off the back maybe? Nah, he's not going to be able to rotate it well enough. He doesn't have a lot of boost, so Soup Time's going to be able to read that and take it in. I know he doesn't have a lot of boost, but oh, it could have been close. <laughs> in the wall pinch to put it right in front of goal. Durs is going to freak out a little bit, but he's going to put his possession in. Off the ceiling, get a maybe a flip. Nah, it's not going to be it. If Wonders can't react in time here, yeah, Soup Time's going to put it right in the goal. See it? The flip reset. Oh, it got failed, but it was close. It looked really good to start see the freestyle out. He saw the opening was like, oh, I need to do something here. Just tried to go for a flip <laughs> reset. Did not back down the goal, but good enough. I'm liking the the the, the goal animation from Suit Time. Matches his car. Really pretty. Oh, and a really good 50 from Paris. He's gonna keep the goal open. Brings it up a little bit. They're back down to a two uh, advantage for Suit Time. That's also another thing, is like, if you mess up, I didn't see the kickoff, he had actually, like, started it slow, but if you don't do the fast kickoff, you can really just capitalize on it by just waiting, just, like, you can read where the fast kickoff's gonna go, so you can work with it a little bit, and I think the quicker is that the ball's gonna be kind of in a weird spot off the top corner. He's gonna put a lot of power into this, and wonders with the clear. Soup time kind of dedicated to that. If he had put some power into it, maybe it could work out. Soup time going for a corner boost. 
Give some time for wonders to realize what he wants to do. Oh, he actually missed it on the wall. Let's see if that's gonna challenge maybe? Oh, and a nice flick. Defense on top of it in the challenge. Clears it. Time. I, it was going to be interesting to see his stats at the end of the game, see how many shots he's ever doing, because you've been pointing it out. Zootime has a lot of shots on goal, just like this one. It's going to go straight in. As of right now, if I'm reading the stats correctly, it says that Zootime has 7 and Wonders has 9. Oh, I just realized it was on the screen, yeah. I didn't realize that was on the on the HUD. Good job, Matt. I appreciate seeing that now. Yeah, 7 and seven and 9. So Durs actually has more shots. More shots than... Uh, in soup time so you can tell who has the offense and soup time's definitely playing this a lot smarter this game than stylish both players recovering for that in good time soup time went for the corner boost could have been dangerous he's willing to take that risk and give it a bump up and trying to fake it for wonders but he can read it there's getting a bump onto soup time to try and keep it possession Oh, the fake challenge from Sue Time puts it a little bit into, plays a little bit into his hands now as he can keep the ball on his, on his car. More fake challenges in the pop-up. Durs can maybe capitalize on that. Yeah, it's going to be a free goal. Back down to two. The difference with 30 seconds left or 20 seconds left on that. I don't know if it's going to be enough time for... Wonders to bring back two goals. Yeah, I, it's going to be close, honestly. But... Depends on how Soup Time's gonna play this. Because he can play it definitely really safe here, like he ended up was doing in the last series against Solution. You know, I, I can possibly see him bringing out the Battle Bus for the last map, maybe. I'm telling you, with him up 2 0, he might as well, right? Like, there's if he loses the match, it's like he could just switch back to off chain and have a chance for the next one. I think he's feeling it now. I, I, at, earlier, when it was a lot more stressful, I didn't see him actually bring it out, but. Now that he's up a little bit and pretty good scores on both games, I think he could open up some room. It's not going to be like whether or not it reverse uh, leads to a reverse sweep. That's going to be another question. But uh, hopefully we can see some stylish finishes here if Soup Time wants to finish the series short. And wow, Rio. wonders with the twelve shots versus eight from Soup Time. Yeah, he's playing it offensively, and uh, that's what I was going to say, is like whether or not like Soup Time wants to be in more of a, a comfortable location. I think Durs just realized that Soup Time's been feeling it, and he's got to place it a lot, uh, play a lot more aggressively against him to try and keep the ball out of his hands, but it's not really working in his favor. So something's going to have to change if he wants to, if Durs wants to bring this back in a reverse sweep. to start the final game here uh or at least the uh, potentially the final game match point yeah. for soup time i really want to see wonders bring this back to a 2-2 and possibly go to a game five that'd be the most exciting one. Oh yeah man i want more rocket league this is i'm feeling it now i, I can see i can at least feel what these guys are thinking right now and i'm really th seeing that they're playing against each other really well carson obviously at a bit of an advantage uh, from the 2-0. The but that doesn't mean, per se, that he's doing better. I think he has a lot more... He He's playing a lot smarter now. And I, I, I'm really glad that we get to see it because these both these players are very mechanically skilled. So we get to see more of the, the, the brain behind these guys and how they position it and just realizing when they can take advantages versus when they're challenging and, you know, making mistakes is going to be on top of their priorities to not do. The, the major thing is, are we going to see the battle? If we don't see the battle, actually, I don't know. I think he just switched colors on his Octane and <laughs> didn't bring the battle bus out. I don't think he may have swapped cars. Oh, no, no. he's on the Octane. Yeah, he kept the Octane. Now the... 
what, what was that? That's not Powerpuff Girls. I was gonna say, is that like a color scheme, pink and green? So with the teacup, there's a coffee mug up top. <laughs> the demo out of Wonders gets an open goal for him. Easy goal right there. He's kind of both changed it up. He has a different goal animation. He has an, he has the Cloud Nine skin. He's got to change it up. Maybe they just wanted to see what they could pull Actually, out of that. Actually, wait, wait. You know what? This may just be the color change. It, it could have be. been. It could have been the color change. And another right off the kickoff goal from Wonders. Only 30 seconds into the game, we're already seeing a good, uh, good placement from Wonders being two up as compared to being two down in the last game. You know what happened to C9, right? Yeah, they, <laughs> they signed me. Is what Wonders. I said. just saw that too. Wonders liking the, the C9 skin. I haven't seen a lot of C9 games in RLCS. I wonder if they're like. I don't even know who they have right now. I know, uh, what was his name? Oh, I, I, I forget the player's name. There's a really popular player that used to play for C9. Uh, that's on his I think it's yeah. his name. Yeah, he, he used to play for C9. Well, C9's roster right now is Squishy, Torment, and Gimmick. Okay, so yeah, Gimmick's on the team. It's gonna be a pretty popular team. It's a little Squishy. I've been watching a lot of Squishy stuff, at least in the off time. His 1v1 series is pretty fun. He's also SSL. I kind of neglected to mention it, but Wonders was able to get another goal and bring it up to 3-0. The suit time doesn't deter him. He's keeping the offense up, and he's not panicking as much as you could expect if you were down this much. But both players definitely playing it safe. Suit time not in a great position right now, pushing it a little bit, but a good clear. But Wonders up to try and clear it from his goal. And a little bit of a flip from him could have put him out of the game for a little bit, but now nah, he's still in it. The demo from Suit Time, more of a, more of a, a fig, or I was gonna say figment, but no, it's a, it's more of a symbolic thing at that point because he, he didn't have a real good shot. Could have been close though. So come back and goal, trying to pick up a wall read. See a dribble and maybe a possible challenge. Air dribble from Soup Time puts it a little bit right over his wonders. Right to the corner. He couldn't keep the, the speed up. Soup Time with uh, his first goal for the game. Two minutes in. Maybe one just really likes the Cloud9 skin on the blue side, but he's just you know trying to put in a little extra work as we see him ahead 3-1 here. Oh, I don't know if he likes it, but I like it. <laughs> the 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 black and blue color scheme. If I had to choose any like team that had the best style, like it, it's so weird because like I think T, uh, TL Team Liquid and Cloud9 both have really good styles for their merch, and it really sucks because they're both blue and black or blue yeah. and white. Like you're gonna put the two best teams in the best colors up against each other. Wonders with a really nice uh, power shot right towards the top left corner wasn't able to a soup time wasn't able to recover from that so three up again for wonders half the game is done pretty much it's 248 but plenty of game left obviously the good lead is definitely good for wonders but we've seen them lose a pretty good lead before and a good challenge from soup time in the read put the ball right into wonders goal you see a little bit more, uh, a little bit closer. As I said, that was like, what, only eight seconds in. Yeah, there's a lot of time for this game. Five seconds, I can't count. He's gonna put it kind of into the side. One just gonna take the, take the helm on this and try to wall read it. Sometimes back into the goal, he's gonna be able to defend it get the nice ball back but wonders can challenge and he's in a weird spot but we can't get around it and put it right on top of soup time running circles around him right now trying to get on top wonders once again taking the boost from soup time's gonna be kind of hard to play against could have been close right there soup time running out of boost Getting put in a close spot, and yeah, wonders. 
just having all the boost. boost. Yeah. Right on top of suit time, so he couldn't come back. You can you can hear his car just like, oh, I can't get back. We're out of time. Need boosting. <laughs> Grabs a penny at the last second. But not enough for uh, wonders to to lose to. So it's back to three up now. In the good 50 from suit time. I'm in a good spot for a, a dribble off the corner, bouncing it. He's in a really good spot with a flick too, but Wonders can get in on the wall and read that. It's looking likely that Wonders might take this game. He's been playing a lot better, it seems like, this time. The C9 skin put him in a good spot for uh, taking it. Oh wow, the, the challenge for Wonders was enough to bump suit time. But, oh, actually it was a little bit off the sides. So I thought that was closer on goal. Nice shot from Soup Time. Between the Wonders on the wall to try and defend it. Getting bumped from Soup Time. But there's in a good spot for Wow. Almost the. Oh! Ooh. Mercy! Oh. oh, I was gonna say the. Mer it could have been a Mercy flick, but it wasn't quite that close. Oh, but right off the top crossbar. Soup Time couldn't recover in time. It was a really good save. It's hard to save those, so you gotta give it to him. He was close. a little bit at the end there. Right, four up now, and a minute left in the game. Wonder's looking really good to take this game, but he's gonna try and keep the possession up. It's important to waste and not wasting time here. Soup time, like I said, gonna take advantage of what he has. See that as a nice little goal as Wonder's tried to get the corner boost. Not enough to not enough time to recover from that. To the company the left side of goal. It's too fast. Right off the top crossbar, man. And I, I, as I was gonna say, a minute left in the game. We've only passed 10 seconds, and the lead's already brought down, been brought down to two goals. Sorry, I can't speak today. And uh, it's looking pretty good from Soup Time as he's charging up here, getting his. Uh, I, I still want to call him a Powerpuff Girl. I don't. I, there's no Powerpuff Girl that's like purple and green, but I still want to. It's like a Christmas light. right on top of suit time and he actually caught the ball too wow. right on top of the car and now we're bringing the lead back six to five in the comeback from six two already in 30 seconds left suit time is in a position to bring this back if he really wants to finish it and i think it's up to durs whether or not he wants to go to another map or another game sorry we're gonna see here how it goes and the good 50 is gonna means this round is probably gonna, or this round's gonna be the last one i feel like Wonders on the, the leads. And a challenge from Soup Time is going to put it in an awkward spot for Durs to defend. Right off the top and a double touch. Wasn't able to cover it. Oh, but Soup Time knocked it right towards his goal. Wow. Wonders is going to get on top of that. And yeah, it's going to close that gap a little bit. Seven seconds left. And, or further it. Uh, further the gap just a little bit. Two goals now for Soup Time if he wants to recover. In seven seconds. We did just see him get two goals in this course of ten. So maybe if he gets a good kickoff here, there may be a... Uh, Stretching the series for the stream. Yeah, Durs, Durs is feeling it for the production. He wants more of a more of an overlays to be used. One, yeah. Carson. Oh, actually gave it a good shot, but not close enough. 7-5 for Wonders in his first game of the series. And starting the, the reverse sweep road. Do we see Wonders bringing this back all the way to 2-2? Oh, I can, I can see it, honestly. he's He's been keeping it up, and this game was a lot more of the methodical i think he used a lot more, like there was a lot more skill being used in there a lot more of the 1v1 experience that he was utilizing there when carson was in a bad spot or maybe maybe just had like a good position on him took the advantages that he wanted to i don't think there's gonna be a battle bus anymore <laughs> i think it's a little bit too close my the chances of the battle bus coming back are not gonna be good but f-150 though i want to see that if we could I know none of these guys can hear me, but it's whatever. <laughs> and 
just for those people that are watching right now, at 8 p.m. tonight, we're going to be having our draft for Best of the Best, which is our semesterly uh, in-house tournament, where we have people from all different games all playing on all different teams. And here we go with the fourth match in the Best of Five with Two Time Up 2 and Wonders. Two, it's 2-1. Two, one. two Time 2-1 two, one, Wonders. Yeah, we got there eventually. Eventually. A good best of five. Oh, and a really good start from Soup Time. Wow. Aerial challenge is going to put him in a good spot. 1-0 over Wonders in a good spot. Right over the top. You never know if you can actually make those aerials. I find that th that at least would be, like, my hardest. Oh, I just realized, yeah, he's uh, Soup Time swapped to the, the Fennec, so he's probably going to be tryharding this a little bit too much. That's one of his signature cars. He really likes using the Fennec. Nice little air jump with the Wonders, but not enough. Supercon comes back and already quick into the a wall backflip. I didn't think he expected to do that. He he messed up the flick there. Supercon here just trying to keep possession, even though he's pushing it back to his side to try and reset the ball. Oh, this is opening. This is a good opening for him. Durs is going to have to go up and defend that, but he's still recovering. Going for more boost, because he's running out right now. He's pretty close on running out of the boost. Carson actually gave him the boost, so he's going to be in a good spot now if he wants to work with this. A good corner shot, maybe? Oh, wow, yeah. But not right off the wrong corner. They put him in a weird spot. Soup time in the challenge, maybe? Yeah, on the aerial. Off oh, the back bar, though. Durs wasn't able to recover from that. Gotta get more boost back if you want to get back into this. Oh, nice bump from Thurs. It's gonna be one of those things that's like, especially in like the threes, if you if you're gonna miss a challenge, if you can't make it in time to get a challenge, as long as you get on top of them and maybe get a bump, it's gonna be real good. As you see the open goal from Wonders. I think that even led from the the bump, as I said earlier. It's like if you can make the challenge, but you get at least bump soup time and lead to him getting that 50 to take him to another goal. So, or his first goal of the game. So it's 1-1 one, one now, for three and a half minutes. It's still anyone's game. At the top, we can see Soup Time making a good shot. Durs having to recover from that. Maybe a good clear on their way, but it was a 50. Soup Time with a shot and goal once again. I'm seeing a lot more shots from Soup Time this game. The last two games have been more of a, a shot heavy side from Wonders. Carson back in his net, just waiting for that ball. Good shot on target. Close, but Darius was able to take it off. Soup time once again with possession. On his side, he's going to take a nice little aerial, but a little bit further away from the goal. But this is going to be a little bit awkward for him. He has to go back and deep end if Darius was able to read it. Pops it over Soup Time's head, and a good defense from Soup Time. Puts it back into the middle. Oh, but he actually double committed. Yeah, no, Wonders used his uh, second boost to jump there a little bit. It was kind of hard. Soup time to let it roll in the goal. That was a mistake from Wonders. Accidentally double flipping there. As I keep mentioning that it keeps putting him out of the game with those flips. As soon as you flip your car, you are pretty much just committed to it for about like two seconds. So you're going to be like in a bad spot if you flip when you're, when you're challenging something and you flip into it, you're out of it for at least two seconds. And if you're uh, if the other guy in the 1v1 doesn't then yeah you're gonna be in a weird spot Ooh, and wonder sets himself up perfectly there off the ceiling bounce to score that goal with an open net as soup time just wasn't able to get back in time well i actually just remembered that uh the prize from this there actually is a prize, and it's a it's a headset. So these guys are actually gonna, definitely going to try hard this a little bit. I understand why Soup Time has the the Fennec now. Oh yeah, some nice oh, HyperX those. Cloud Stingers. Thank you, HyperX. I was about to say thank you, HyperX, for the, the Cloud Stingers for our prize and putting up a good fight here between both these guys. I was going to say that Soup Time was up at a lead before Nerds got the goal, but they were able to make a nice goal. You know, on top of the prize, they're also fighting for 
their pride. Oh yeah, 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 hundred percent. These guys play a lot of one v ones together, and I think against each other they know who's the better one v oneer. But this is what actually matters. This is what's in front of everyone. You're at the you're at the poker table now. You actually have chips on it. You got to like. This is actually your wallet in the game. And we see suit time up now four two. You think the card change uh, away from the octane might have you know, propelled him a little bit more? It's gonna be different because uh, like Wonders is used to playing against the Octane from the first three games, so it's gonna be kind of hard to turn around. The Fenix also a lot more beefy. It's it's one of those things that like there's always a talk about like what the best car is, and for standard it's probably the Octane. But in the one v ones, you get used to playing against like certain players, and Carson plays a lot with the Fenix. Is that the main car that he pretty much uses? I I can't say the main car. I don't watch a lot of his games to say, but. The Octane and the Fennec are probably his favorites, I'd say. So, Fennec, more for like the freestyling. And the and the bulkiness put them in a good spot. For and stuff like that. Two time up. Five, two. Oh man. We got a minute 15 left. I think you were talking about the Cloud Stingers, because that was that was a really good <laughs> shot that he just made. Now we're seeing the. Now I'm smelling the sweat. Oh yeah. These guys. We've got a minute 15 left with Wonders down three. He can do it. I mean, this is going to be a tough one because Supercon's definitely on top of the game now, taking the boost away from Wonders. Puts him in a little bit of a better spot, but he doesn't have enough time to recover. So Dirt's going to pick up the boost. And actually gets on top of Supercon. The nice bump was close. Oh wow. Could have been close. On, top, on the corner there. Good read from Wonders. The little tap from Suit Time, or as I think he calls it a doink. It's gonna put it at least a little bit better in the spot for him. Well, Durs is on top of this game. Cloud Nine skin doing favors for him. Gets a goal on top of Carson. Closing the gap just a little bit. I don't think you can give up any goals at this point. 30 seconds left in the game. If any goals are given up, they're just going to have to try a lot harder to win this. And it's already hard enough as it is. Being down three against your own coach. Even I mean, with professional just... games, the coach the coach player 1v1 is always the, the most interesting. Yeah. And saying he's the coach doesn't discredit Carson at all because he oh, was yeah. on our main Crimson Rocket League team for what three years before he just decided he was, he was gonna coach him. Is it three? Has he been at the school for three years? Yeah. Oh my God. Maybe. It might oh, be this two. Be a, oh, that's a goal from Durs. Oh, this is getting close. Now it's a now it's a one lead, and now everything's possible. Five seconds left. This isn't exactly a uh, uh, a dignitas or an NRG situation but it's close 2-1 in the series there's on the on his last lifeline here if he can get a good 50 she does it's up in the air and two seconds left anytime it touches the ground and it's done it's it actually done. touched the corner and that put soup time at just the, the lead that he wanted at a 5-4 finish for the last game of the series and a 3-1 and soup and time there we go. soup time has won the uh 1v1 uh up tournament Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Carson. You have just won a HyperX Cloud Stinger on top of uh, some pride, you know. And, um, you know, just want to say thank you, everybody, for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, thank you from me, Chris, and Victor. Appreciate it. Thanks for listening, guys. I hope to see you guys again. Oh, yeah. And um, don't forget, tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time, we will be doing our first ever Best of the Best draft. Um, where you'll see us analyze each draft pick and see the, the picks live. Um, it should be very fun to watch. Again, 8 p.m. Central Time here on Alabama Esports Twitch. Once again, thank you, everybody, for watching. Y'all have a good day. Have a good day, guys.